Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Hydraneer. Uh, yeah. Just trying to see if I can get the production hammer to work yet. Still can't. Yeah, it looks like we might be in a little gully here. Okay. So yeah, we're going to continue digging for today. And then overnight and into tomorrow, we are going to start looking at uh, automated sorting. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Free range buckets are trying to escape again. I lost it.
as I said, this is very basically sorry. I know I'm quiet doing this. It's I find this part actually very soothing or meditative. So I will kind of get lost in doing this. this part here actually let's do another one starting automation will be expensive so especially since I don't like the cheap little uh, orders So let's do two more runs. That's it. This was basically here just for me to climb up on top of it. I'll sort this. Ah, actually dusk, so not too bad. Um, yeah, I'll sort this and then come back and we'll go over to the main town and look at getting some automation going for sorting. So I'll be right back. Okay. 
So we got a few gems this time. Don't mind me. I'm yep. smooching about. So, uh, like as you can see, the gold bar and the iron bar are quite bigger than they used to be, and three emeralds and a sapphire, twenty two hundred dollars. I reckon Bridgeport was minion before Fabric got here. I don't know what that means, dude. Those Panclang brothers are. Got the goods if you got the cash. Okay, right, so we got forty three hundred dollars. Or forty three hundred coins, sorry. <clears throat> uh, we should have enough fuel in there. Okay. One thing I don't like about this is you can't take your hat in the truck. Don't understand why. And we're gonna unstuck. Bum, bum, bum. Take the shortcut. Oops. Looking for something. Okay, so mine here. Yeah. Thanks for your business. I haven't found anything from you yet. Splitter, splitter. Oh, well, that is what I'm looking for. Than these. Um, okay, so. We want to split to the right or the left. Five thirty-two. So. Take a look at my goods. Gold. Sure. Take a look at my goods. I'm gonna trade you thirteen hundred. So can't afford you yet. <clears throat> okay. Huh? I have another one of these. In time, only hundred. Looking for some. Release. Merger. Hook onto conveyor belts allows the creation of junctions between belts. Oh, cool. Gem polisher. You won't find better prices than these.
Okay. I got the goods if you got the cash. So, we have one straight here. We'll need another one. This lifts basically, you know, uh, raises up the belt. These, you put whatever mineral you put on the top bar there, it separates it. You only need four. This thing here does the same thing as the grindstone. Except it does it automatically, so basically it'll take your gems and it'll cut them, polish them, and all that. So they look pretty. And you don't have to do it yourself. Looking for some up. Saves like 10 seconds of time. Um, how much are these lights? 160. We're kind of low on money at the moment, I think. Up in here. Don't need fancy furniture yet. Twelve hundred. It looks like the compressor is gone. Now, do I want to... I don't know if I want to do this or if I... No, I'm not going to do this. Hey, okay, put it back on the shelf. I will do this instead. Yeah, let's grab a scale. Mm -hmm. So the scale will tell you how heavy each bar is, and it'll also tell you how much bar is worth. You won't find better prices than these. Probably should grab another straight conveyor while we're here. I got the goods if you got the cash. Probably two of them. Again, conveyors are one of those things that if you buy too much, you're going to use them in the end. Um, as you can see here, the piping is uh, brass colored, it's glaucium. Piping, where in the starter of town, the piping we are buying is iron. Iron is not as efficient at all. It's fine for where we are. It's cheaper, and I'm going to stick with it. Um, oh, there's your jump compressor. That's different. I actually like the look of that one better. I'll show you way too expensive so what this would do is it'll take 
basically you dump all your gems in there so all the green the blue the red and the black ones and then it compresses them all so that all the green gems are combined into one big gem which saves on entity okay so let's head back let's grab the money oh let's grab some more straights you won't find better prices than these yeah you're not expensive I have two of you. Hmm? The hitboxes have changed on it. Okay. So you can see your fuel tank at the top there. It's the water. We'll lose uh, rectangle of water. Right now we're pretty good. All you do to fill it up is grab a pan or a bucket and uh, a pan or bucket of water and then dump it in there or else you can actually hook up uh, basically what we did with the piping you can basically have it up in the air just dripping down okay so and look and so this has to sit on the pipes that's how it works. You. Okay. I might not need that one. Try and move you guys down. Watch this guy to. I didn't take the money back today. Well, let's maybe make a big mess up. We go down there.
so you just take some ore. Come up here. Since it's the least common, I'm going to do it last. And you just place it on there. Uh, can you have a shard? Oh, a shard right here. So that sorts it. Um, basically, I'm going to go iron, gold, shard, lithium, just because I want to get rid of, I want to separate the most first, and iron being the most means that there will be mo uh, like there's more iron against than there is anything else. So, I want to get rid of the entities as quickly as possible. Um, at the end here, all the gems should, they're all left. We haven't separated them at all. So they should come through here, get polished, and, well, hopefully fall into there. I very much doubt it at the moment. Um, we can also grab you. Okay, I need some money. Okay, let's go just run and grab our money. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So a few things have changed. One, I've lowered this down. So it's now at the bottom. So I no longer have to climb up to get to it. Then with the hiccups. Two, I reset my key bindings, which is... I was trying to find the button, I couldn't find it, I found it, and now I can use the hammer properly. So, we lowered this. Alright, I should have stopped. So we lowered the pipe here. So I don't need to throw a bunch of cement blocks underneath the, th uh, the things here. Um, I managed to buy the wrong directional conveyor belt splitter here. So we have one that goes off to the other side. For no apparent reason whatsoever. Okay, and I did some mining just so that we can sh I can show you what this does. Okay, I need uh, one of you. Just to go right there. And you. Yeah, this might make a big mess. Or it'll work wonderfully. Find out. Take all this. We just dump it right here. And now it should take all the iron pieces out of there. Lovely. There's the gold. And there's your big mess. The shards. And now it's going to take... We didn't get any cloudium, of course. Polish the gems and drop some there. Oops. Uh, so the next step to automating this is to get automatic smelters. Basically, or automatic, I can't remember the name, they're basically automatic cauldrons. So, these crucibles, sorry, automatic crucibles, um, basically the stuff comes over, it dumps them right into a crucible that is always on fire, and then, or is always heated, you click on it when you want it, and it pours out an ingot perfectly for you. Works wonderfully, it also has a bigger mouth. So that it makes a lot less of a mess when pouring. Uh, with these little tiny pans, you tend like you gotta get them right in the you gotta get them in the right spot. That's why I said this is either gonna make a big mess or it's gonna work wonderfully. I kind of expected them all to miss, to be honest. Um, we also have you. I'm not selling you though. One little guy is worth. 
Thirty-three. That's fun. Three hundred eighty-three. Or one point nine two. One point one five. Three hundred and ninety five. Yeah, three hundred and ninety five. Let's dump it in here. Put this back. This is the other problem with hands are very finicky. Oops. Go over here. And three twenty. I don't remember how much this was for. Okay, I don't have it on there properly, I don't think. But, how much were you worth? $3.97? There. Yeah. We don't need a pump here at all, or a pressure tank at all. Um, we don't have any actual machinery, we just have the conveyors. Once you get into the drills and harvesters, then you will need this was through, uh, what was this? So four sixty. So it does gain value quite quickly by just smelting it. Where did my pan go? Seven. Not sure, one hundred twenty dollars. Twenty coins, sorry. And you can just throw it back in there, throw it back into the cauldron, and it or crucible, and it turns back into mol or molts. Turns back into molten metals, and then you can just continue adding to them. Okay, I'm going to call this episode here. Um, I'm the next episode. I'm going to continue mining manually and i will come back with more automation or farming i'm not sure which the next episode will be i want to see what the farming does so probably farming thank you all for watching it's been a pleasure uh leave a message leave a comment and i hope to see you all again have a great day